Yo, what is good everybody and welcome back to the channel for stop of the day. So anticlimactic, I know. But I need gas and Costco just so happens to have the most affordable gas. You see it, Costco executive member. Under six bucks. Gas went down quite a bit, 575. For a minute it was about a touch seven. So we're all fueled up and ready to go. Question to you, what is gas and where are you located? Definitely curious, this was a very pleasant surprise. I think gas went down by like 50 cents. Multiply that 50 cents by 20 gallons and my full tank went down by like 10 bucks. So anyways, I'm heading over to Nordstrom because I did peruse the Facebook group the other day when I had some downtime and I saw this thread and it was a very fire outfit and I did zone in on this particular pair of chinelas, slides, mules, some say tomato, I say potato, same thing. But yeah, I did go ahead and decide to like search them up and I found them available at my local Nordstrom. So I just purchased them. As we're headed, we're gonna go pick them up right now. So kind of an impulsive purchase. And this is one of the reasons why I stay away from the Locust Wild Honey Facebook group because they're buy, sell, trade, and it's one of the best communities, in my opinion, on all of Facebook. And that's because of you guys, not because of me. It's because of you guys uh, making all the transactions very awesome and a cool place to just share outfits and uh, gather around this hobby that we love. And at times, it could be hazardous to the health of your pocketbook. All right, so we're here at Nordstrom in the parking lot. I think I'm gonna do the... Uh... The curbside pickup. I've never done this before. Estimated wait time, five minutes. Dude, this is really nice. This makes it a little bit better too because like it's always so awkward having this camera and like going into stores and having everybody look at you. It's Saturday today. And uh, yeah, it's really packed here at the mall. So this is good. This is really good. What's up? Yeah, Thank you, you so much. You're I appreciate okay. it. Yeah. She was backing out so I didn't want to like wing it over. You know, I hear you. Thank you okay, so much. I appreciate that. it. Dude, all right, so the person just like snug up on my car and yeah, scared the daylights out of me. I wish I was filming, but we're good. All right, so we have the shoes. It's a really nice box. Canvas dust bag, very nice touch. I don't know about you guys, but I never use complimentary dust bags. I mean, it's a nice touch and they look cool, but I don't know. I just don't use them. Here they are. They're pretty nice. They're very light. They feel like... They feel kind of like uh, the Californians, the Fear God Californians. You guys are familiar with those? They're uh, like, they're very, very light. They smell good. Nothing too crazy about them. Just a nice little, little sandal. I think I'm gonna throw them on feet. I might just wear them today, honestly. Call me Cinderella because these are a perfect fit. They are a size nine, which is my true to size size. I generally take a eight and a half to a nine and these literally fit perfect. Hey, look what I found. Oh shoot, oh, shoot. my bad, my bad. What's good, brother? How are you? Long time good, no see. Bro. You look good. Thank you. You look healthy. Oh. All right. So if you guys don't know, we got Harrison in the house. Good. You guys remember the What's legend? Good. Dripped out per usual. Uh -huh. Go ahead and uh, should we get some lunch? Get some tacos? Yeah. Right. First things first. Always an essential. The best tacos in town. All right. So we just got here to one of the best taco spots. The El Pastor here is just unreal. Uh, off camera, Harris and I were talking about like the current state of like what we're wearing and stuff and uh, the current state of the sneaker market, talking about like the crash or whatever. I think there's two factors at play when it comes to why uh, the sneakers aren't selling for as much as it used to. For one, obviously there's been a bit of saturation, a lot of pairs coming out, creating a lot more supply to meet like the demand that's out there. But on top of that, it's too easy to get now. Apart from that, we're obviously in a different state with regard to our economy, all those stimulus checks coming in and stuff like that, extra time. And so you have, you know, browsing eyes ready to, to purchase shoes to the point where mids were flipping for like a hundred over which is like unprecedented. I feel like that was like an anomaly in sneaker, I guess, history. And lastly, people who just kind of follow the trends have kind of gotten over to some extent, Jordan 1s and Dunks. I feel like, you know, apart from saturation, uh, just in terms of aesthetic, it's just very, very normalized. It's almost become uniform to wear Jordan 1s, to wear Dunks. And people who like are trendy, quote unquote, are kind of, evading those shoes specifically because everybody and their mother 
is wearing them, like literally. Obviously for myself, I still have like some of the more hype sneakers on the channel and I review them and stuff like that, but like when it comes to daily wear, I'm wearing more toned down shoes, if that makes sense. Mostly designer. Because like once you start seeing so many bad fits with those shoes, you don't want to wear them anymore. That's the thing. When you see them at the mall, everyone and their mom got it on. Yo, I'm, all, I'm good. Let us know if you agree. Uh, do you think the sneaker market is really just continuing to decline? I don't know. What kind of conversation, dialogue, it'd be cool to get one going. Go ahead and comment down below what your thoughts are. Or maybe, maybe we're just in a little sneaker recession and it's going to appreciate and we should have been holding this whole time. I know, you, you don't really wear ones anymore, do you? No, they all gone. They all gone? And he had the craziest, we did a whole video on a crazy sneaker collection that he has, so. Honestly, all I wear is Converse and Converse yeah. and like, sometimes Rick's. Mm. That's about it. Can't go wrong. I just picked up a pair of the Stussy Converse. Those are amazing. Yeah, they're, they're very good. Yeah. They're very good. I think they, they killed that collab. It's a subtle difference, mm. but it's like if you know, you know. You know what I mean? I think that's kind of like the, the good spot to be in. It's like you want to be a part of that if you know, you know kind of thing. And ones have kind of lost that allure, the if you know, you know. You know? My, my. Let's go, dude. It's like a fried cheese in the middle, so it's like hard. All right, guys, first stop of the day, Country Roads. FAA jacket. Oh, there's got a name on there. I think this might fit me. Oh, no, this is 45. Yeah, yeah. Seychelle. Okay. Well, it looks like uh, my name is Seychelle. I like the back hit. Very fire. The sweater that Jerry made famous. Yeah. Blanket line. Feel that. Blanket? Yeah. Oh, it's 145. I found the perfect jacket for you, Harrison. Karen? Just try on the FAA. If it fits, I'm going to probably pick it up. Oh. Is it, is it too big? No, it fits. It fits good. Really? Uh, my the sleeves might be a little long, but that's not even that bad. I think I'm gonna run this. 45. Come on, night runs through house. Throw that Yo, on. with the with the new shoes. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Have a good, Have a good one. You. Five seventeen. No it's flare though, huh? Yeah. Is it custom? Nah, this is a five seventeen, I think. It looks like a five seventeen to me, but the wash is immaculate. Oh, there's an FAA up there. I bet you it's. No one's for Jeff. <laughs> Do I look more like a Jeff or? Seychelles. Seychelles. Here's another blanket lined 105 though. For you. I think it'll be too small. I think the, the arms might not be too small for me. Actually, yeah. This looks like it's gonna fit actually very cool because it's like it's very short. The crop, yeah, it's deep. cropped. Dude, it actually, I think it fits, dude. Ooh. What you said, ooh? Yo, with that extra paint right here, yo. Stop me, stop me, you just gassed yeah, me. Yeah, no, no, no. It's the fit. Is it a fit? Do we have a fit, boys? Margo, so you smoke. Yeah, that's the only thing. Reds or gold 100s. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> that's what they're called, right? <laughs> 100s. The extra long ones. Yeah, extra. <laughs> no, I saw me those little skinny ones. <laughs> <laughs> you know your measurements. If it measures out, then you're good. That? Yo, dude, I think I all I would have to do is get them t tailored to be shorter. Dude, I don't even think you need to tailor it, dude. Just R let it let it sit like that. Yeah, they kind of fit, huh? Those go, those go hard. Yeah, the color's good too. Throw the Marlboro hoodie on, dude. They're good to go. Dude, 45 is that like just 
vintage or just expensive? It's, it's getting what? more. I'm telling you, I'm not. Just go buy a shirt. I'm gonna try this one on right here. It's a Godzilla. Yeah, Chilling. belly button. Why is it's so 80? Much? Yeah, why is it so much? Oh, I don't know. That's hard. It's dude. got a good that's fade. Hard. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's I'm like, yo, this is you, bro. On me. How are you? <laughs> that looks really old. Are you Paul? Yeah, what's up, man? How's it going? How you doing, nice man? to meet you. Bro, I saw Michael Bisping from the UFC here too. No way. I think you made a video about this place a while ago. I did. I did. That's how we found I'm actually place. filming right now. Okay. <laughs> you want to say what's up? Yeah, what's up? <laughs> what's up, vlog? <laughs> <laughs> you guys find anything good today? No, not really. <laughs> Dude, you saw Bisping here. That's really cool. Yeah, bro, he was getting furniture. No way. That's yeah. crazy. I don't know, bro. I don't think it'll be time. Okay, really no worries. Like nice that. to meet you, man. Have a good one. Oh. Are triple A blanks good? No. Whoa. No, it's a tough tee for real. Good fade. I, I I really like the pocket tees too. Right. Whoa, dude. Dude, this is burgundy, but I kind of like it with the paint on there. How do you feel about this, Harrison? <laughs> Might pass on this one. All right guys, so we just got done vintage shopping. Harrison took off. And next up, I'm gonna go ahead, head home, get ready real quick because Richie Lee and the entire crew are here local. And we're gonna go ahead and hoop. This is like, I don't know, somewhat of a customary tradition that we do uh, when we do link up when they're here in town. I consider Richie to be a very close mentor of mine. Somebody I constantly look to for advice and wisdom, whether it's with business or if it's with this whole social media stuff. So yeah, it's always a blessing to meet up with Richie and the team. And of course, it's always a lot of fun. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and film while we're there. I'll have a timestamp right here if you guys don't care about basketball. That way you can go ahead and skip and go to the hall and review of my new slides. Anyways, let's go ahead and cut over to the basketball courts. Good, was good. Good to see you. Last run was really good, so I had to run it back for uh, a second go. No
Yo, what is good guys? So we're back here at my house and I did wanna go ahead and show you everything that I did pick up and purchase in today's video. But just before that, just a quick review of hanging out with the boys, man, that was so much fun. Shout out to Richie Lee and the entire team for just making a little bit of time to hang out with me. And you guys have to understand that Richie's a very busy person. And the fact that he did make somewhat of a priority to hang out with me is insanely humbling in all honesty. We ended up going four and five, which is a winning percentage of 80%. So I feel like we, we got a pretty good squad. So hopefully next time you guys are in town, we can keep the little run going. Let's go ahead and talk clothes and jump into the first package. And I do believe this one is from Minimal. If you guys don't know, I work very, very close with them. And for that reason, you can use my code Paul10 or PaulFB to go ahead and save 10% off your entire first order. And what we have here is the Everyday Collection. If you don't know, the Everyday Collection is comprised of a ton of different basics, mainly tonal, to go ahead and work seamlessly in any of your guys' wardrobes. Here I have a few different sets, all of which are very fire and kind of that more pastel-y colorways. For sizing, I did go ahead and take a size medium in the hoodies to get somewhat of an oversized look, very cozy. The shorts are a small, which is my true to size size. I'm 5'7", approximately 160, and a waist size of a 30. A small does get me that slightly above the knee look, which I am definitely a fan of. And for the tees, I did opt for a size small as well. Feel free to use me for reference, and I will have a link below to go ahead and shop the everyday collection. Next, we have here this pair of vintage Dickies pants that I picked up in today's vlog. They are tagged a 32, but they do fit my 30 waist, and that probably comes as a product of them being just worn and washed a lot. My next and final purchase from vlogging today is this FAA jacket from California. Very fire jacket, it's actually from Redding, California, which is actually where Bethel Church is. So I thought that was kind of cool. But now that I have it here at home with me, it is a touch big. So I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. But you guys let me know what you guys think about the fit. I'm leaning towards letting go of it just because I do feel like a jacket like this should fit a little bit uh, more true to the body, if that makes sense. But all right, now on to the Gucci mules, slides, loafers, whatever you'd like to call them, chinelas. Um, here we have the Gucci box, very nice print on it. Just very, very sick. It's like embossed and then hopping right into the box, I actually put the slides back in the box so I could show you guys what you can come to expect. You got the dust bags, as I showed you in the vlog. I will say that they are a lot more comfortable than I had initially expected. They are pretty light, kind of resembling the Fear of God Californias. They are much more comfortable than those as uh, the midsole is a little bit more thick, a little bit more dense, so they are less prone to wrinkling. The outsole is on the more rugged side, so you can get a lot of utility out of these, surprisingly enough. And for the upper, something that I do appreciate about these specific slides, yes, on the upper, uh, you do have those Gs that signify they are Gucci, but apart from that, the Gs are very, very functional in that you're getting a good amount of ventilation. If you guys know the Californias, you know that they can get a little bit on the sweaty side. These here, you don't need to wear socks to avoid getting all that moisture trapped in there as these G's do function as little holes so your feet can breathe properly. They are well made and as for sizing, I did go ahead and go with a size eight in Gucci, which equates to a nine US. I do range from a size eight and a half to nine US in traditional shoes like Nike and Adidas which means in Gucci sizing, just go one size down, 8G, AKA a US9. Overall, I do find these to be extremely comfortable and durable. You can definitely wear these all day. And so hopefully that answered all of your guys' questions. That's gonna do it for today's video. Hopefully it is helpful. If you like going shopping with me, please let me know by hitting that thumbs up button because I love shopping and I can definitely do more vlogs like this. Guys, thank you so much for the continued support and coming back to the channel. It's an immense privilege of mine to serve you through making content. And so with that, until next time, please make sure to subscribe, like today's video, and comment your thoughts down below. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace and be blessed.